In this lesson, you slope the roof slab of the building to allow for roof drainage conditions. We will modify the slab construction to more accurately reflect the actual construction of the roof and the way the slope will be accommodated in the insulation of the roof. From the menu browser, select Open. Then open the file RAC BBE 03 Edit Roof. First we will draw ridge lines. On the view cube, click the top northeast corner and zoom into the building and select the roof slab. Then from the shape editing panel, click add split line. Then draw a ridge line to separate the shorter wing of the building. Next, on the shape editing panel, click add point. Then click to add a point in the middle of the section of the roof over the shorter wing to represent the roof drain location. Exact placement is not important for this lesson. Next, we will modify the roof edge elevation. On the Shape Editing panel, click Modify Sub-Elements. Then, place your cursor over the shorter wing roof edges. Press Tab until Chain of Walls and Lines displays on the status bar. And click to select the chain of roof edges. Then, on the Options bar for Elevation, type 6 inches and press Enter. Then, click in the Drawing area and press Escape. The roof slab displays the edges representing the sloping faces leading down to the roof drain. You can use the same method to modify the remainder of the roof to accommodate the drainage conditions. Next, we will create a section. In the Project Browser, under Floor Plans, double-click Roof. Then, from the View tab, Create Panel, click Section. Then, zoom in to the sloped section of the roof and draw a vertical section between grid lines 4 and 5 through the shorter wing of the building. Exact placement is not important. Then press Escape and double click the section head to view the section. In the section view, you can see that the slab is warped. The slab needs to be flat along the bottom edge and the slope needs to be created using tapered insulation. Next, we will modify the construction of the slab structure to reflect this. Select the roof, and on the Element panel, click the Type Selector, and select Steel Truss Insulation on Metal Deck EPDM. Then, click the Element Properties drop-down, and select Type Properties. In the Type Properties dialog, click Duplicate. In the Name field, type Concrete Deck Tapered Insulation and click OK. In the Type Properties dialog for Structure, click Edit. In the Edit Assembly dialog, select Layer 4 Metal Deck and click Delete. Then for Layer 4, click the Material field and click the Browse button and select Concrete, Precast Concrete, and click OK. Then, for Layer 2, select Variable. Then click OK twice. Selecting the Variable option for Thermal or Air Layers specifies that the insulation and all layers above the insulation slope while the other layers of the roof remain horizontal. Click anywhere in the drawing area and on the View Control Bar, Select Detail Level 
and choose fine and zoom in close to see how the insulation layer is sloping. Then close the file as this concludes this lesson.